Hi, thanks for coming to my tutorial. It is Green Bay Wacky. I am a cheesehead from Wisconsin. Guys, I want to walk you through making a video with just a simple idea, a green screen, give you dramatic effects so that you can make better videos here on YouTube or wherever you want to use them. Guys, I'm going to be doing this in real time, so the video is like 18 minutes long, but you'll want to see all the little nuances that I've added to it. Okay, with that being said, now I'm going to switch to audio. This is all you have to see in my face. <laughs> well, actually a little more um, because, you know, it's in the how-to. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, time to roll up our sleeves. If you want to make YouTube videos, check this out. We opened up Wondershare Filmora. That's what we're doing this in. Now, what I'm doing right now, that was the effects store I closed, by the way. I don't need any effects. Right now, you notice I clicked import on the top there. I'm importing four files, two pictures, one song, and one video file that I already previously recorded. Now, the song goes into the top under that media selection because that song's already in my list. That's why you'll notice me scrolling there, but it is there. That's the song I'm going to use, Church of Eight Wheels or whatever it is. Um, anyway, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to bring the video down into the uh, tracks. Now, a lot of people get confused on Wondershare Filmora. They always go to the first track and they don't understand why can they only do so much. Well, it's because you can't do anything there. you got to get to the second and third tracks. But here's another confusing thing for people. The third track you can't get to unless there's something in the second track. So I'm going to pull a picture in, okay? Now, pretty much from this point forward, it's going to be in real time. I know this is a long video, but you got to see what I'm doing. The first thing I have to do is edit this video to down to the clip that I want to use. So listen. If you're like me, you know... See, I'm figuring out where it is that I want to cut it. I'll click on it once, I'll right click, then I'll click split. And then I'll click on it and I'll delete it. Hello, people. How many millions of people out there suffer from what I suffer from? Unsightly armpit hair. That's right. It is growing like So I'm just going to let this run in real time so you, you can see I just am kind of doing a goofy little skit that I just made up. Online, and then I found now I did this quick, it's still going to work, but I would suggest I stretching your green screen and better lighting from the side. The more green it is, the better. I clicked on the video clip once, then I right click. Look at the box I checked there for the chroma key. Now you notice how I kind of set the eyedropper on the green screen and I moved that intensity and that erased out the background, okay? So now you can see, here's my video with the back erased out. Okay, so the next mission is I'm clicking on it there. You see how I'm clicking Care on my video footage? And I'm just sort of doing some checks with it. And I'm trying to show you that now I can move that video clip. I can shrink it, make it bigger. I can move it to a different area. But you notice I moved it back to the beginning of our video here, to the line where we're going to start from. I put my bathroom image in there. Now notice on the second line, I did put a bathroom image on the first line but you can't stretch it to fill the black bars. So the first line is very limited. I like to work in the second, third, fourth lines. So you can see what's happening here. I'm now clicking and moving my you know, little video footage around. Now I noticed there was a couple little green screen ripples on my footage. So for the sake of this video, you notice how I set it down in the left Hello, and I put people. it on the bottom. So those little imperfections just disappeared. It'll still work from. for this video. Unsightly now I'm hair. just kind of deciding what I want to do with this footage. So I'm moving it back to the beginning and I'm going to delete out that first line picture, but watch what happens. Sometimes, oops, everything's gone. I noticed that with Filmora. So you got to kind of move your stuff out of the way, then click on it and delete it. Okay, now I'm going to bring it back to the beginning and I'm going to move my bathroom picture there back to the beginning and then I'm going to stretch it so it fills the screen for the whole video. So watch how I do this. Just keep watching, just keep watching. Okay, notice how I stretched it there? Okay, we got the basic shell of our video in place here. Now I'm going to move them down a little because I'm going to need an intro for this video. I'm going to go grab one. I'm going to check on, um, notice on the boxes there, uh, I'm going to text credit is what the box is. And I'm just going to real quick pick an opening. There's lots of them. There's tons of them. How many do I need for this video? I only need one. 
So I'm just going to pick an animated beginning. You could pick whatever you want. There's dozens and dozens and dozens of them. So let's get that beginning one real quick. Um, okay, epic. Okay, epic. Sounds good. So here we are. Solar Flare is what it says. I just dragged it. And you see how I put it in the beginning there? Now I clicked on the bottom square there. I'm going to edit the text. You see how I'm editing the text here? Okay, new from Blanco. It's a fake commercial. So, hey, new from Blanco. All right, just follow me here. Now I can stretch it. I can change the color. I can pick different fonts. I can do all that. It's all right on the screen. Hopefully you can follow me on that. Now, once I'm happy with this, then we're going to move on splicing more of the video together. Again, I'm doing this in real time because you need this in real time so that you can understand how long it's going to take you and how it's going to work. So I got new from Blanco for 2018. Okay, there's a bright yellow. Maybe I'll roll with that. It's good enough. I changed it maybe to a black shadowed outline. I'm just playing with it. You see I'm just playing with it? Okay. Now, once we get that set, then watch how the animation looks. I'm going to run it and kind of see if I like it. New from Blanco for 2018. Yeah, I can live with that. That's fine. Now, I'm going to bring everything back right there. You see how I line it up? Okay. So here's our shell of our video so far. We've got an opening now. We've got a green screen. You see, look at how we're making a video here. And it's looking professional. Hello, people. Here I am how talking. Many millions right? of people out there suffer I'll verify from what that. I suffer from. Yep, I'm talking. Unsightly I turn the speaker down here so I don't get an right. echo it when I record the audio. Like a forest. All the time, you want to shave it, but you cut yourself. Okay, you want to shave it, but you don't want to cut yourself. I get it. Okay. Now, you see what I'm doing here? I'm taking that bathroom picture, all right? And I've clicked the box around it. And I'm just, I'm playing with the edits here. I'm just playing with some of the editing. I haven't stretched it over the black squares yet. But I'm just going to add a text. You see how I went to uh, text credit? And I grabbed something. I just want to spruce this little scene up a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? So I picked this text. Now here I am clicking again on the text. You notice how I just click on the text once and it brings the box up. Now I don't want that, obviously. I'm going to put, uh, what am I going to put here? Gross! Yuck! Okay, whatever you want. You know, again, I'm just making a funny comedy video here. I'm going to play with the text. Watch this. I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to move it. I'm going to play with the color. I'm just going to get something like I want here. I'm doing this in real time. Again, I know this is a long video, but hey, you're only going to watch it once. Uh, red. All right, maybe I want it red. Okay, good enough. Now, I'm going to test it and see what it kind of looks like. Oh, it should work. From what I here I am. From. I'm a little scene that I'm forming here. here. Unsightly armpit. Oh like no! Force. Gross! Yuck! You shave it, it's horrible. You okay. It just doesn't work. So now I've got my little. Uh, you notice how I put that? I drag the text down to the. See, I'm in the one, two, three. I'm in the fourth line. That's where the text is. So now we're already got this bare bones kind of thing going together here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of music. Okay. And I'm going to just here. See, I'm adding it down below. Same thing. I'm dragging it into the, let's see, one, two, three, four, fifth line I'm at now. Music always plays there. But you notice how I clicked on it? It's always you click on it, you right click it, and click split, and it'll delete out what you don't want. You notice I don't need all of that uh, music because my music uh, video uh, in the video ends at the end of the video. So. You can, and something I just showed you, once you copy or uh, uh, split it, you can drag it still to the right. Like, it'll extend it out again. Like, it knows it's there even though you cut it. Now, on this video, you see how I have subscribe on a green screen? I'm just adding that to the end of this video. Same deal. I click the checkbox. That one I didn't have to race out because it's bright green. Now, you click on your little picture there and look at this trick. You can pick little things like spin and that kind of stuff. So just the end of the video, it's going to say subscribe, and I extended the music out a little bit there. So here we are. We got the bell and whistles, bells and whistles for the video in place. We've got an opening. We've got some music. Look at how easy this is coming along here. I mean, we're making a video for YouTube. My goodness. And we're doing this in approximately, you know, what, 18 minutes, whatever this uh, how-to video is. But look at how nice this is already coming together. Your imagination is the only thing that keeps you from, you know, getting a viral video. 
Um, you could do this with anything. It just happens to be this little joke that I picked. So here I am. I'm just uh, kind of running through it. I do lots of run-throughs just to see how it's appearing. Now, I myself, when I film this, notice I'm in the square there. I didn't do the greatest job of filming my uh, self because I should have had a wider angle on the camera. So that's something to, that's just comes down to how you shoot your footage to start with. But you notice I got the box around myself right now, okay? And I'm just kind of playing with this. Just keep watching. We're getting there. Just give it time. All right, give it time. All right? So... I'm just playing now. I just took the bathroom. You notice that? I stretched it left and right, and now the bathroom covers those black bars. That's why you need to be in the second line. You can't do that stretch on the first line. The first line will not allow it, okay? So I just put something in the front line there just so you can kind of see it. Um, just keep watching here, though. Just keep watching. So in the front line, I just did that to show you that it hops stuff around. And I'm just basically going to clear out, you know, the front line, the stuff I showed you. Now, I added that little effect to the subscribe. Again, you just click on it once and, or double-click it, and uh, then little options will come up to give it an effect. I just chose a drop-down. So, uh, here I am at the end of the video. I'm just deciding, you know, it's still kind of blah, all right? So, I'm looking for some other ideas here. Uh, that's what I love about Wondershare Filmora. I'm going to go in and grab some other effects. Um, I'm going to go in now to the text credit again. And I'm picking something for the end of the video because I made a joke here. And the joke is that it's, you know, get rid of armpit hair. So, you know, you're going to have to call, right? You're going to have to call like 1-800-BLANCO, you know, something like that. So I'm just picking a box. I'm looking right now. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm just looking through all the different effects. Ah, that one will do just fine. There it is. Got it. I'm going to move that down. You see how I drop down into that fourth line? Again, you just sort of click on it and drag it down there. You'll get it down there. Now, I'm editing it. I clicked on it. Notice how the box came up. Call 1-800. Let's see. What am I going to make it say here? 1-800-SHAVE. Oh, 1-800-SHAVE. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, there's actually seven letters in a phone number. So let's go shave me. All right. Notice the little dots on the left and right and the top and the bottom? That's how you stretch your text out in. And now I'm going to give the boxes some different colors. You'll notice you can play with that. But this will really help at the end of the video. It's a comedy video. So, you know, call 1-800-SHAVE-ME, okay? So now I'm adding this. And I'm going to play with the colors and then decide where I want to put it. So just keep watching. Just keep watching. Just keep watching. Okay. It's so amazing, Wondershare Filmora, of what you can do with it. And this is a real bare bones, minimum basic kind of video. But now we got the subscribe. See how that just swung up there? Okay. And let's just keep going here. We're going to go back to the beginning and kind of, you know, I'm just kind of checking a few things. You always just kind of check back through it. There I am. I still want to add more stuff to it, though. You'll see I'm going to add more stuff. Um, I'm going to go into... Uh, right now, the music, you see how the slider works? I'm just showing you, you can do a fade out on the music if you want. I ended up, you notice, I put a small little uh, splice, and then I dropped the volume of the music down. Um, so the opening, the music's loud, but right when I come onto the screen and start talking, then I actually change the volume of the music. So it comes on, and the music volume, you see that? Because I put a split. So even though it's the same song, it's actually split twice. Now, I just decided, let's go get some emojis. Let's just add a little, you know, stuff to this. Uh, I've got the emoji packs in here. Uh, let's just spruce this video up a little with some animation. Uh, that's up to you. I mean, it's up to what you're trying to say to the audience. Notice I'm just playing with this. The emoji's there. And uh, it's at the top. Gross yuck. Just kind of playing around with it. Up, down, left, right. And I'll end up clicking on the emoji, and what I will end up doing is I'll end up giving it an effect. See the gross yuck, I'm still playing with it. I don't know what I want for a font there. I don't know what I want for a color. But the emoji there, that was in the uh, elements, okay? I just went and grabbed it and brought it right into the timeline. So you see the emoji on the one, two, three, I think it's on the fourth line there. One, two, three, fourth line, okay? It's just sitting there waiting for me to, it's, you know, it's like clay. I'm just working the gross yuck 
I decided gross yuck. I made it green and the emoji. I I might move the emoji. Like I, I don't know if I want it where it is. So I'm gonna play with it a little bit. Okay, the video is kind of rolling here. But now you see how I double clicked on the emoji and you get all these options. Look at that. I made it just swing down. I just made it swing down. You click on the emoji then, and you can actually you see how you can stretch it, make it bigger, make it smaller. It's real easy. All right. Let's see how the effect looks. There's the guy crying. Gross. Yuck. Wow. Okay. A little spruce up here. Again, this is subjective. This is up to you how you want to do it. So again, this is real time. So you can kind of see how this is working here. We're building a video together. But think about it. If you could build a video in 30 minutes to an hour on YouTube, imagine how many videos you could get done in a week. All right. Your personality can sell a video. And this just turns it from you talking on a green screen with you know just kind of your silly idea into an actual video okay so I'm just again watching my video play you know just kind of watching it watching it watching it I'm still messing around with the emoji still messing around and uh, I decided I'm gonna add another emoji later in same deal you just go to the elements grab your emoji there it is I gave it an effect you see how I just put that box up so now I'm shrinking it a little bit. It's all about just clicking on it to get the little control of it to shrink it and all that. Double click it to get that box of options to open up. So here I am just kind of making a little joke. I made him pop up. Okay, that was my version of what I thought was funny. Okay, so those are the emojis there. You can see how if you look close, elements is lit up in red. That's why I look at all these elements, tons of them. So look at what I've added. I've added a little subscribe. I've added a couple emojis. I've added some text. I mean, this video is coming along. It's actually gonna be like a real like video here. So let's just keep watching. We're getting uh, you know close to where the video is gonna be ready to be uh, rendered. And it's actually going to uh, be exported as a file. You know, again, I'm just playing with the emoji. Call 1-800-SHAVE-ME, right? See that? So the video is slowly coming along. Got to subscribe at the end. I shorten the music. Just keep watching, okay? And we're coming to the where it's actually going to be exported. So I'm stretching out the timeline. You notice the top line there, right where that white line is on the top, is how you stretch the timeline. That's how you stretch the timeline. I'm just finagling with this. I'm just finagling with the uh, the effect, the ending. Right? I'm just kind of seeing if I like where it is. I'm just placing it. Again, it's all subjective. Okay. So, now, again, I'm just checking things out over and over and over. I'm just checking. I'm clicking. I'm checking. So, here we are. Back at the beginning. There's the timeline being stretched. Again, that's easy to do. The top little... Uh, Dotches, notches, whatever you want to call them, the little Hello, lines. People. You just kind of click on them, expand it, or suffer not. From what I um, suffer from. Very easy Unsightly to stretch the timeline out. Hair. So That's we're just kind of right. watching this it overall is play. like a forest all the time. You want to shave it, but you cut yourself. It just doesn't work. I searched for a solution online, and then I found shaverless hair removal by Blanco. Let me. Show it's you real time, guys. So you're watching it. I'm debating if I like the yeah. video or not. Oh, yeah. So if I like it, we're getting ready to where we can be finished with it. Oh, wow. Now I'm smooth like my baby's bottom. <laughs> oh, 1 800 shave me. By Blanco. All right, we're getting there. Subscribe. I like the video. So what I have to do now is I have to click on export. Look at that. I click on export and you notice there's options there. Do it as an MP4 file and just leave the settings. You can give a higher resolution if you want. Um, I typically, the stock settings for Wondershare Filmora, just leave it on the MP4. And now we're going to export it. And my video is done. I'm going to give it a name. I've now just created a video in Wondershare Filmora. And that's it, guys. 19 minutes in real time.